What's going on, explorers? Brandon back at you, Six Four Explorer, with another amazing exploration. This one's really cool. This is a hoarder house that nobody's been in since 1996, and there's tons of stuff here. You can tell she had tons of jewelry, lots of it's costume jewelry, but there's got to be 5,000 pieces throughout. You can tell there's been a couple people here that kind of ransacked the place looking for the good stuff. So it's a bit of a mess, but there's stuff everywhere. I'm going to try to take my time. I'm going to try to make sure that I go slow so that you can see everything. And this one's awesome. You guys are going to enjoy this. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, notifications, share it with your friends. Thank you all so much. Let's start exploring. This is a look out the back door that I came in. There's five sheds that are all locked except for two of them. The two I looked in, they're quite hoarded themselves. So you can hear the traffic. This is right at an intersection in a little boony town. So I'm surprised that they've let it, let it sit here for this long. This is right when you walk in the door. Everything loaded right up. Tons of stuff all on the roof. This is just on the porch to get into the house. And I've already checked again just to make sure nobody was home. So right when you come in, we got a way to go downstairs. stuff all over the walls so this door here doesn't really open because it's as you can see tons of everything we'll get to the other side I hope if we can see that too the roof's falling down everywhere. Look at this. Everything. Hats. Just full. Every drawer. Even some jewelry down here. The roof fell down. The hamburger. But this door doesn't want to open neither. Once I get in, I'll show you. I think it's got to be because there were animals in here that tore this cupboard right to right apart. Looking for whatever food they could. Still everything left. And look, the lights are on here. 
I noticed that some little bits of the house, they have power, but not everything. Cupboards. Full. We got a safe sitting right on the table. There's nothing in it at all. So you can see the keys sitting right in it. Just mail, letters, and garbage all over the floor. So, switching hands. Another wolf. I seen that exact same one in my last experiment. There's some rings right there. And whatever this medicine is, that's not good. And then we come into this little room here. Sorry about that, I was just switching things around to make everything a little more comfortable. As we come into here, got a little laundry room. Everything's still here. There was a weird tapping coming from the basement when I was out in the other room. I'm not sure if it had to do something with me walking, but hopefully. There isn't anybody hiding out in the basement. Look at that. More costume jewelry all through here. Some old hair stuff. everything this would be a really long video so I might not search through everything sorry since December 1999 that's when this place was last last inhabited Here's another entrance to a different basement. Well, different part of the basement. Close here. Doing the best I can for light. I've got a new one coming, but it's not going to be here for another couple of days. It should make things real nice. Those hangers on the on the light. See what I mean? Stuff everywhere. Real old picture. Maybe the people who lived here. It was, it was all decorated. A real cool cane over here. Look at that. The horse on top. A little Mexican donkey. Ooh, how old is that robot? Look at her. The filter queen. This old stereo. Old clock. Old fisher. Like a real stuffed chicken.
clothes everywhere. A neat old clock. This would be the front door. And there's your upstairs. We'll go there. After I show you this room here. It's just stuffed, packed. You can't even get through. Old wood, old tiles. Look how old that TV is over there. Got this big giant shelf in the way. Crap ton of coat hangers. Some books. Crazy. And there is a way to get to the other side. We'll be there in just a few minutes. But now, we're going to head upstairs. Putting two and two together, that knocking that I was hearing must have been because I opened up the fridge. This old wallpaper. That's 90s. This carpet's 90s. Vacuums, 90s. It's a nice picture. We'll do the washroom first because it's quick. Still left. Mouse poo everywhere. That calendar says ninety five. Hmm. Squatters. Some nice old spice. That one doesn't want to open because the roof is coming down. This is kind of gross, eh? Carpet in the uh, in the bathroom. It's all stained up. Everything's still here. Toilet paper. Clothes hanging in the shower. Nothing gross going on in there, thankfully. It's just looking at the butterflies. They're gold. All right. Room number one. Once I'm in here, so my light can do its work. up over there. Somebody opened up the wall. There is stuff in there. I'm not sure if it was to get to another room or somehow they knew that this person was hiding something. Oh, there's hinges. You can see it's a door. Okay. I got to use my eyes a little bit more before I speak. This beautiful wallpaper too. files. See, the bed's covered with clothes. And then over here, look at all this. 
It starts with those on the wall, with their clothes hanging on the door. And shoes. Jewelry all over the floor. Sorry for all the stuff that I'm going to be breaking. <clears throat> and I've noticed that there are rings with markings. That could be the lady there. And when you open up some more jewelry boxes. Somebody took what was in there. But a bunch of family pictures. Christmas cards and letters. She cared about her family. Beautiful little perfume. Some jewelry and where mice were living. Can you believe it? Everything just left. The roof's coming down in here too. And it's not far from your head. In houses like this, I feel bad stepping on everything. All the ties. Everybody's clothes. More shiny stuff down there. An old phone, maybe? Yeah. Old green phone. And a purse. The curtains, everything's still up. Pictures are still up. Oh, until there's a leak in the ceiling. But still, it's not that bad that people had to be gone in 99, 2000, 2000 to 5, whichever one is correct. Old knife. Man with a horse. In the older years, maybe? See what I mean? Good thing I'm wearing my boots with all that glass and jewelry, perfumes, shoes. And she's got that shelf there so that you can't even open her door all the way. Maybe to, pr to protect those glasses. There's just blankets in here. No. Room number two. This room looks like it could have been a kid's room. That's a little messed up, no? Why are you missing your leg, Dolly? And again. Doesn't look like it's really signed. More jewelry. Somebody loves you. What's going on, explorers in the mirror? How's everybody doing when I can find you? There you are. How's it going? Oh. A little bitty. I say that because I know a dog looks just like that. That's her name. Pictures of the family. Here we go, look. Multiracial. Tron.
Toronto, Ontario, Canada's Wonderland. That's old. A girl's room, perhaps? <laughs> like real old stereo systems. Really cool. Oh, well, you look at that. Patrick Swayze. First ever Loch Ness Monster. Well, more Swayze and chickens and goats. All of her clothes. See, in the houses, you realize it's, it's a sad story when they're just left and abandoned. You don't know what happened. But when everything like this is left, you can tell that there was a young girl. This was her room. Then it makes it extra sad. You don't know what's going on. And then people come and trash her room, throw everything around. All looking for jewelry. I'll show you what's in this one. Oh, I thought I was going to be polite about it. Can't do it with one hand, people. Oh, there we go. So I'm holding two things with one hand here. Sorry for that. Little elephants. Tons of stuff. Collected. Loved. Clothes still in the drawers. A bunch of money. I wonder if those are really old coins. Let me reach over. I guess somebody dumped her piggy bank. Yeah. Horrible. No, they're just normal quarters. Who dumps a kid's... A kid's piggy bank. Looking for money. I wish the floor wasn't such a mess. Hopefully that happened after people were gone. Oh, let's look behind this door. She was a little princess too. <laughs> she might have been really tall. <laughs> Very cool. Take a peek at that. Music box, put a nice clock in there. Awesome. All right, to the second room. Or sorry, the third and last room. It gets stuck because I can't open the doors. Oh, that's really cool. Do you remember the California raisins? Look at that. Awesome. A ship made out of seashells. Look how old this alarm clock phone is. That thing's a beaut. What? And then blocking the door was papers, books, really colorful pajamas in this room. Sewing. Oh, no, not really. 
That's a harmonica. Old metal bike. Little baby shoes. Look at that hard plastic bottoms. Somebody must have taken that. Just close. Baby crib. As you can see, a whole lot of baby's clothes. Whoops. So this was a full family. Everybody lived here. Babies, parents, kids, grandparents, teens. I'll do one more little pan. The bed's still made. Anything left? Baby toys. Beautiful old luggage. More old paper. And that's it for the upstairs. That's a lot. That's not it. More of the roof coming down. What an amazing house this has been. We're not done yet. Wow. Back down the stairs. I've managed to get myself into the middle of this room. I'm on an old, like, weird style piano. We got a... I'm not sure what's on the other side. But my life's depending on them, so just hoping they're strong. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze into this room. Got bunch of clothes. Man, this place doesn't end. There's just so many things. It's like a dining room table here at one point. I'll get over to that shelf there. We'll definitely take a peek at it. But while I'm here camped out, I'm going to take a few pictures because I won't be coming back over all this stuff. Pretty sure I didn't damage nothing, but I just like to be extra extra careful and caring towards abandoned places not people all right get it right no i'm joking i love people too okay we'll see you at that cabinet okay explorers we made it over to the shelf got a really cool old flash for a camera we got an awesome little mini camera for james bond we got this beautiful, still in the case, Polaroid. Look at that, land camera. What a beautiful little piece of equipment she is. And then, over here in a nice case, we got a Yashica Japan. It's a color yashining decay. <laughs> They're just numbers put together. Letters. But look at that. Really cool old camera. It doesn't want to sit properly. And coming down. A whole ton of knickknacks.
closer look at this shelf, we could do too. We got Sunday, old Sunday glasses from back in the diners. Still got diners now, just probably not as good as the ones back in the 70s. Now I'm going to jump down through this curtain here. Oh. Oh. And then we're back into the kitchen. So we made it all the way around. It smells a little bit. Shouldn't have opened that fridge. And again, see? You got to be careful. You gotta watch your back, you gotta protect yourself. Exploring. It's not an easy game. Is there lights downstairs? There is so. Right. <sighs> Cobwebs. Take my time because there's just so much stuff. Look at that. That's really cool. I shouldn't leave just my legs exposed. Somebody's going to take one of those knives and give me a slit. Oh, there's another fridge here. Oh, cobwebs all over me. Look at all the food. Ugh. Even candies in the fridge. Stuff on the door. Yeah. That one. Gross. And a hammer sitting here. You know what I mean? That could be done in no time. Alright, quick scan, because that's bad. Holy. That freezer's not working, unfortunately. That cheese whizzes. <laughs> Cans are just disappearing. Okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna take a few pictures. So unfortunately, only a little chunk of the basement has power. So we're gonna have to do it this way for a minute. Now, way over there is completely blocked off. We can't get there, but there's just so much random stuff. Old VCRs, tools, bikes. You name it, it's in this corner of this house. Even a toilet. I mean, just everything. From windows, wood. It's weird, that green thing sticks out. Just tons of tools. Caps for the old BB guns. One time me and my buddy were seven, eight years old running around a big field playing with those and somebody had called the cops. The cops came, see what we were doing. Told us don't mind the people. But nowadays, I don't even know if kids are allowed to play with cap guns. Stuff hanging from the roof. And it's a real low roof here. It's going to be nice to get out of this basement being hunched over. I got all my pictures taken before I started this second half of the basement. So once this video is done, goodbye. We are out of here. Bird cage. Hopefully there's no bird in there. Giant tank. 
I know I turn fast sometimes. I apologize for that. I'm trying to get it into my head to slow the turns down. Alright. This is one crazy, crazy basement. I didn't show you the back of here. We don't need that for this. Just more stuff closer to the food. How long does salad dressing keep for? Nasty. There's a fuse box, wide open for some reason. We'll go together up these stairs. This is the other way. None of the stairs are safe. And this takes us back to where we came in. Isn't that an awesome circle of the house? Very, very cool. It's almost like I set it up. I knew which way I was going to go to come right back out like that. But I didn't. So let's check out a bit of the yard, what we can for now. Let's do a little walk around the backyard here. A couple of machines. Let's not look at that person's house. I think this is one of the locked ones. Yep. And I'm not going to go opening up people's stuff. There's a ladder in the hole. Ask me that's how people got in. Maybe there's somebody stuck in there right now. That's this door's open. Oh, okay. Oh, God, look at the size of him. So this is, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that spider was too big to make it, to make it into this place. Oh, yeah. As you can see, there's not much going on, just caged areas, it's not even hoarded up really. We'll see, maybe I'll clear, maybe I'll clear that web and we'll go. Yikes. Nice boat. Full of water. Some random stuff. That's cool. Little kid fort. You could climb up through that hole. A cage for a dog. This one's open. Open and packed full. Yard stuff. Till my new light gets here two days that's one of the reasons I'm waiting for that new place even though it's kind of more so outside just for a hint All right, there's something in there so I'm gonna get rid of this spider and we'll go in so I cleared that big spider but then there was just one after another, after another, after another. This is the only room that has stuff in it besides one that's got an old workbench. 
which is still pretty neat, but not worth getting bit and whatever I could get from those spiders, because I'm not in town anymore. This is this is out out where spiders are different. There's a car out front. We're gonna check that one out, and then we're gonna get out of here. Right out front of the house, we got an old car here. The door to this house is just unlocked. I don't know how that always happens. I guess when people go on in and they just leave without. How rotted away this car is getting. The inside's still clean. Crazy, eh? Houses like this just sitting here. Like I said, right at the corner of a cross section. Oh, Canada again. I hope you guys like this Explore. I'm loving every minute of it. All right, Explorers, thank you for joining me on this one. Wow, this was cool. Stuff everywhere. I still got to take pictures on the main floor. I forgot about that, but we'll get that done. What a beautiful weekend this has been. Wow. Wow. To have this still at the end of September, I'll take it all the time. I do love winter too, though. I'm a winter baby, so got to have that good winter. So thank you all for joining me. Like, subscribe, notifications. I think I got it that time. Thank you for all the love, all the views, all the support. Again, in another maybe two or three videos, I got that special one coming for you. This is special too. The last one was absolutely amazing. But this one coming up is going to be something really, really good. So, I'm ducking so you know. Thank you all for being here. I love you all. Ciao for now. Enjoy your weekend. Brandon, the 6'4 Explorer. Exploring with Airbag Stickland. Back at you. Ciao.